going to look at identifying carbonyl functional groups using infrared spectroscopy. And this topic is covered in the molecular characterization chapter, which is chapter number 12. As you can see from this sequence of carbonyl containing functional groups, each functional group has a characteristic CO stretching vibration. So for example, in the acyl chloride, we have a stretching vibration of around about 1820 for the CO bond, moving through to the acid and hydride at 1800, lower for the ester, the aldehyde, the ketone, the carboxylic acid, and last but not least, we have the L at around about 1650. And we can use the CO stretching vibration, the position of the absorption band in the infrared spectrum, to identify the particular carbonyl functional group. So let's look at an example now. And here we have butanal, this 4-carbon aldehyde. And in the infrared spectrum, we have these absorption bands, which are associated with the CH bonds. But for us, this is the key absorption band around 1730 for the CO stretch of the aldehyde group. And immediately from that spectrum, you can identify that there's a carbonyl containing compound. But even more than that, you can identify that it's an aldehyde. If we now compare the aldehyde with a ketone, in this case butanone, we can see that the CO stretching vibration moves lower, it moves to 1718 in butanone, which is characteristic for a ketone. You can also start to consider the substituents which are bonded to an aldehyde functional group, whether the group is aliphatic or aromatic. So in benzaldehyde, we have this benzene ring directly attached to the carbonyl, and this causes the CO absorption band to reduce. It lowers to 1702. So what we can use here is the infrared spectrum to identify the actual carbon-based substituent directly attached to the carbonyl group. Finally, we're going to be using infrared spectroscopy here to monitor reactions of carbonyls. And this is very useful in the laboratory. So we're going to look at a synthetic sequence starting from butanal, this 4-carbon aldehyde that we saw earlier on. And the absorption band for the CO bond is around 1730. And we're going to transform this into a carboxylic acid. So we're going to oxidize the aldehyde to the carboxylic acid using potassium permanganate. And in the infrared spectrum, we would expect to see the strong, intense CO stretching vibration shift from 1731 to 1712. So the absorption band is lowered in the spectrum. If we now convert the carboxylic acid, which is butanoic acid, into butanoyl chloride, so we replace the OH group with a Cl using thionyl chloride, we'd expect to see a marked change in the infrared spectrum. The absorption band for the CO bond moves way up to 1810. And finally, if we convert the acyl chloride into an ester using methanol, so we've got a methyl ester, we'd expect an absorption band for the CO bond of the ester around 1742. So here you can see the importance of infrared spectroscopy in following reactions of carbonyl-containing compounds.